As we gather in prayer, let us first acknowledge the profound blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit upon you and your entire family. It is with a heart filled with love and hope that I desire to intercede for you and your loved ones, particularly focusing on your precious children. In the sacred tradition of our faith, we turn to the Psalms, ancient words that have echoed through the ages, offering solace, strength, and divine guidance. Each Psalm carries within it the power to transform lives and circumstances, and it is with this understanding that I commit to praying through them on your behalf. As we embark on this journey of prayer, I invite you to find a place of quietude, a sanctuary where you can fully surrender to the presence of God. Whether you choose to kneel before Him in reverence or lay down upon your bed, let these psalms envelop you like a comforting embrace, infusing your life and your family with divine grace and protection. Together, let us align our hearts and minds in agreement, for there is great power in unity. The psalms we will recite are not merely words on a page. They are potent weapons in our spiritual arsenal, wielded with faith and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Through them, we engage in spiritual warfare, casting down every stronghold of the enemy and proclaiming victory in the name of Jesus Christ. For those who may be weighed down by the burdens of fear, anxiety, or the shackles of past or present struggles, take heart in knowing that this prayer is a conduit for liberation and peace. As we lift our voices in supplication, chains will be shattered, and the light of God's truth will illuminate even the darkest corners of our lives. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us enter into this sacred space of prayer with expectant hearts, believing that God is faithful to His promises. May these psalms become a wellspring of blessing, flowing abundantly over you and your family, bringing forth healing, restoration, and unshakable faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, Psalm 91, is a sanctuary for the soul, a refugee for the weary traveler in the tumultuous journey of life. As we meditate upon its timeless verses, let us immerse ourselves in the divine assurance that comes from dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. These words are not merely poetic imagery, but a profound invitation to intimacy with the Creator of the universe. In the shelter of His presence we find safety, security, and serenity. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Here, we declare our allegiance to the Almighty, affirming His sovereign reign over our lives. In Him alone do we place our trust, finding refuge from the storms that threaten to overwhelm us. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. In times of trial and tribulation, we can rest assured that God is our deliverer. He rescues us from the snares of the enemy and protects us from the unseen dangers that lurk in the shadows. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. This tender imagery speaks of God's nurturing care, like a mother hen sheltering her chicks beneath her wings. In his embrace, we find warmth, comfort, and solace. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. The truth of God's word is our steadfast defense against the lies and deceit of the enemy. It is a shield of faith that extinguishes the fiery darts of doubt and fear. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Though dangers may surround us on every side, we need not fear, for the Lord is our protector and guardian. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Even amidst the chaos and calamity of the world, God's hand of protection is upon His children. We are untouchable, shielded by His divine presence. Because you have made the Lord, 
who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Our safety lies in our proximity to God. When we make Him the center of our lives, we are untouchable by the forces of darkness. For He shall give His angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. God's angelic hosts stand ready to defend and protect us, accompanying us on our journey through life. In this moment of reflection and meditation, may the assurance of God's presence overwhelm you. His promises are true, and He is faithful. May you find comfort and strength in His words, knowing that He is your refuge and that no harm shall befall you. In these verses from Psalm 91, we are reminded of the unwavering protection and provision that comes from entrusting our lives completely to the Lord. As we place our trust in Him, His angels stand guard over us, ensuring our safety in every step we take. They will hold you up with their hands so you will not stumble and your foot will not strike against a stone. God's angels are not passive observers but active guardians, ready to intervene on our behalf to prevent even the slightest misstep along our journey. You will tread upon lions and cobras. You will trample the young lion and the serpent. This imagery speaks of the victory and dominion that God grants His faithful servants. No danger, whether physical or spiritual, can withstand the authority bestowed upon those who place their trust in Him. Because you have set your love upon me, I will deliver you. I will set you on high because you have known my name. Our love for God is met with His unfailing deliverance and elevation. By intimately knowing His name, we are granted access to the fullness of His blessings and protection. You will call upon me, and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. The promise of God's presence in times of trouble is a source of comfort and assurance. He not only hears our cries for help, but responds with deliverance and honor. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. God's blessings extend beyond temporal needs to encompass the fullness of life and salvation. Those who trust in Him are granted abundant life, both in this world and in the eternal kingdom to come. As we reflect on these promises, let us reaffirm our trust in the Lord, knowing that His angels watch over us in all our ways. May we walk confidently in the assurance of His protection, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill His word. In the blessed and powerful name of Jesus Christ, we humbly come before you, seeking your divine protection over this household. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all things, and we ask that your mighty hand be upon each person residing within these walls. We declare, Lord God, that your presence fills every corner of this home, saturating it with your peace and love. We renounce any strife, discord, or adversity that may seek to infiltrate this environment, and we speak forth your blessing, declaring harmony and unity within these walls. Father, we prophesy that in this home, sleep will be sweet and undisturbed, for you, Lord, are the ultimate guardian and protector. We trust in your unfailing care and provision, knowing that your watchful eye is upon us at all times. We plead the blood of Jesus over the roof of this house, invoking its power to shield and cover us from any harm or danger. By the authority given to us in the name of Jesus Christ, we command every evil force to flee from this place, unable to penetrate the divine protection that surrounds us. Lord, we ask that you station your mighty angels around this home, guarding it day and night, ensuring its safety and security. May your angels stand as sentinels, warding off any threat or disturbance that may arise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we seal this prayer, trusting in your faithfulness and provision. May this home be a sanctuary of your presence, a place of peace, joy, and safety for all who dwell within its walls. 
Psalm 23 is a timeless declaration of the Lord's shepherding care and provision for His people. As we meditate on its verses, let us open our hearts to receive the abundance of blessings that God desires to bestow upon us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. With these words, we affirm our trust in God's provision and care. He leads us to places of abundance and sustenance, ensuring that our every need is met. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. In the midst of life's busyness and chaos, God offers us rest and refreshment. He guides us to places of tranquility and peace, where our souls find restoration. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. God's guidance is not only for our physical well-being, but also for our spiritual growth. He leads us along paths of righteousness, guiding us in His ways for His glory. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In times of darkness and uncertainty, we find comfort in the presence of our shepherd. His protection and guidance give us courage to face whatever challenges may come our way. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. God's provision knows no bounds. He lavishes His blessings upon us, even in the presence of adversity. Our cups overflow with His goodness and grace. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The promise of God's goodness and mercy accompanies us throughout our lives, leading us to an eternal dwelling place in His presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak forth prophetic provision over this home. We declare that God, our shepherd, will supply every need abundantly. Prosperity, wealth, and financial victories are released over this household. We entrust all our plans, projects, connections, sales, and businesses into God's hands, believing that He will bless them abundantly. May the work of our hands be fruitful and productive, bringing great joy to our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that this home is blessed by God and everything connected to us is blessed and protected by Him. Psalm 27 is a powerful testament to the unwavering faith and trust we place in the Lord amidst life's trials and tribulations. Let us draw strength from its timeless words as we navigate the challenges before us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? These opening verses declare our unwavering confidence in the Lord's protection and provision. In His light, we find guidance, and in His strength, we find courage to face any obstacle. When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Even in the face of adversity and opposition, we stand firm in the assurance that God will cause our enemies to stumble and fall before us. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. No matter the magnitude of the threats that surround us, our faith remains steadfast, for we trust in the Lord's unfailing protection and deliverance. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. Our greatest desire is to dwell in the presence of the Lord, to gaze upon His beauty and seek His wisdom and guidance continually. For in the time of trouble, He shall hide me in His pavilion. In the secret place of His tabernacle, He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. In times of trouble, we find refuge in the secret place of God's presence. He lifts us up and establishes us on a firm foundation, shielding us from harm. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in His tabernacle. I will sing, yes, 
I will sing praises to the Lord. In victory, we offer sacrifices of joy and sing praises to the Lord, acknowledging His faithfulness and goodness. Lord, hear my voice when I cry out to you. Have mercy on me and answer me. We cry out to the Lord in times of need, confident in His mercy and grace to answer our prayers. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. We cling to the Lord knowing that He is our ever-present help in times of trouble, and He will never leave nor forsake us. Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will take me in. Even if human relationships fail us, we find solace in the unconditional love and acceptance of our Heavenly Father. In these verses, we find strength, comfort, and assurance in the unfailing love and faithfulness of our God. Let us hold fast to these truths and trust in His promises as we journey through life's ups and downs. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. With these words, we humble ourselves before the Lord, seeking His guidance and protection amidst the challenges we face. We acknowledge that without His direction, we are vulnerable to the schemes of our adversaries. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. We cry out to God for deliverance from the plots and schemes of those who seek to harm us unjustly. We trust in His justice and righteousness to vindicate us against false accusations and malicious intent. Surely I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Our faith sustains us in times of trial and adversity. We hold fast to the promise of God's goodness and mercy, confident that He will intervene on our behalf and bring about a favorable outcome. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. In moments of uncertainty and distress, we are encouraged to patiently wait on the Lord, trusting in His timing and His unfailing love. As we wait, He strengthens our hearts and fortifies our resolve to persevere. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stand in faith, believing in the power of God to shield us from every attack of the enemy. We cancel every curse, opposing prayer, and malicious intent directed against us, our homes, and our lives. By the authority of Jesus' name, we declare that all the works of the enemy are destroyed, and we are protected by the blood of Jesus. We trust in God's goodness and righteousness, knowing that He sees the motives of our hearts and will bring justice to those who seek to harm us unjustly. May His light shine upon us, guiding us and delivering us from all evil and the schemes of our enemies. We place our trust in God's unfailing protection and provision. Psalm 34 is a beautiful expression of praise and trust in the Lord, calling us to bless His name continually and find refuge in His presence. Let us echo the sentiments of this psalm as we lift our voices in praise and adoration. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. These words remind us of the importance of maintaining a posture of gratitude and praise towards the Lord, regardless of our circumstances. His goodness and faithfulness deserve our perpetual worship. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. As we exalt the Lord, we invite others to join us in proclaiming His greatness. Together we magnify His name and testify to His goodness and mercy. I sought the Lord, and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord is attentive to the cries of His people, and He responds with deliverance and peace. In times of fear and uncertainty, we can trust in His unfailing love and protection. They looked to Him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. Those who fix their eyes on the Lord radiate with His glory and grace. In His presence, shame and fear are replaced with confidence and joy. 
The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. God's angels stand as guardians over his people, providing protection and deliverance from harm. Those who fear the Lord are encompassed by his divine presence. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. God's goodness is evident to those who trust in him wholeheartedly. As we experience his faithfulness, we are blessed beyond measure. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. God is attentive to the prayers of the righteous, and he responds with compassion and grace. He hears our cries and delivers us from trouble. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. In you, O Lord, we find our refuge and our strength. In times of brokenness and despair, we find solace in the presence of the Lord. He is our refuge and strength, sustaining us with His love and comfort. In response to the truths expressed in Psalm 34, let us lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. He alone is worthy of all honor and glory, and in Him we find our strength and our salvation. We come before you, O Lord, with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We testify to your goodness, for in you we find all that we need. Those who put their trust in you lack no good thing, for your provision knows no bounds. We extend an invitation to others to taste and see your goodness, for blessed indeed are those who place their trust in you. In our reverence for you, we find wisdom and strength. We fear you, not with a fear of terror, but with a profound respect and awe, recognizing your sovereignty over all things. It is in this fear and honor that we find true fulfillment, lacking nothing that is essential for our well-being. Even in the face of challenges and adversity, we strive to walk in your ways. We depart from evil, choosing instead the path of righteousness. Our hearts are inclined towards peace, and we seek to spread harmony wherever we go. We take solace in the knowledge that your eyes are upon the righteous. Your ears are open to their cries, and you are attentive to their needs. Those who do evil find themselves opposed by your righteous judgment, and their memory is ultimately erased from the earth. When the righteous cry out, you hear them coming swiftly to their aid. You deliver them from all their troubles, proving yourself to be their ever-present help in times of need. Even in our brokenness and despair, you draw near to us, offering comfort, strength, and restoration. We place our trust in your unfailing faithfulness, O Lord. You are faithful to save those who come to you with a contrite spirit, humbly acknowledging their need for your mercy and grace. May our lives be a testament to your goodness and faithfulness as we walk in obedience and trust, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Indeed, the path of the righteous is often fraught with trials and tribulations, yet we take solace in the promise that the Lord delivers us out of them all. He is our protector, guarding every bone in our bodies, ensuring that not one of them is broken. Meanwhile, the fate of the wicked is sealed by their own evil deeds, and those who harbor hatred towards the righteous will face condemnation. In the loving embrace of the Lord, He redeems the souls of His faithful servants, and none who put their trust in Him will be condemned. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift our voices in prayer to God, beseeching Him for His deliverance upon us and our households. We stand firm in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, blocking and nullifying every obstacle and hindrance sent against us. Whether it manifests in our physical bodies or in the bodies of our loved ones, our spouses, our children, we declare that God is the ultimate source of deliverance. He guards our steps, shielding us from all evil and the snares of the enemy. O oh, Father, we implore you to protect us from theft and assault, delivering us from the clutches of wickedness and shielding us from those who plot harm against us. Grant us strength and courage as we navigate the challenges of life, knowing that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. 
Lord, we acknowledge your sovereign authority as the one who goes before us, clearing the paths and delivering us from all harm. We beseech you to station your angels as our guardians, both before and behind us, surrounding us with your divine protection. We firmly believe in your supernatural covering that envelops and shields us from every threat. In your unfailing love, you safeguard our physical bodies and those of our household, preventing the enemy from laying a hand on us. We take refuge in your mighty name, Jesus Christ, and in the authority it holds, we nullify every generational and inherited curse that seeks to afflict us. We declare the annihilation of every curse in our lives, for we are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. By the stripes endured by Jesus on the cross, we claim healing and wholeness for our bodies. We proclaim divine health to permeate every aspect of our being, from the very cells in our bodies to the marrow in our bones. We declare to you, O God, that you alone are our rescuer and protector, shielding us from every affliction that seeks to oppress us. Your word assures us, Lord, that those who fear you lack no good thing, even in our finances. Therefore, we lift high the banner of your name within our household, committing ourselves to fear and honor you in all we do. We prophetically declare that nothing shall be lacking in this home, for it is under your divine guardianship and blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 40 speaks of the deep trust and gratitude towards the Lord for his deliverance and faithfulness. The psalmist recounts a period of patient waiting, during which the Lord not only heard their cry, but also lifted them out of a dire situation, metaphorically described as a pit of miry clay. The imagery here is powerful, depicting a rescue from a hopeless and sinking state to firm ground, where their steps are established upon a solid rock. In response to this deliverance, the psalmist declares a newfound song of praise to God recognizing that many will witness this display of divine intervention and be moved to fear and trust in the Lord. The psalmist acknowledges the blessedness of placing one's trust in the Lord, contrasting it with the folly of turning towards pride and false gods. The psalm continues with a reflection on the countless wonders and thoughts of God towards humanity, too numerous to be fully recounted. It emphasizes God's desire for sincere obedience and a heart attuned to His will rather than mere external rituals. The psalmist expresses a readiness to fulfill God's will joyfully, delighting in His law and righteousness. The psalmist further declares their commitment to proclaiming God's righteousness, faithfulness, salvation, loving kindness, and truth openly and without reservation. They appeal to the Lord for continued mercy and preservation in the face of overwhelming challenges and personal failings. Despite feeling surrounded by innumerable evils and weighed down by their own sins, the psalmist maintains hope and pleads for God's intervention and deliverance. In its entirety, Psalm 40 encapsulates a profound journey of faith from patient waiting and deliverance to joyful praise and commitment to God's will amidst the trials and tribulations of life. It serves as a reminder of the unwavering faithfulness of God and the transformative power of trusting in Him completely. O oh, Almighty Father, I beseech Thee to hasten to my aid. Let those who plot my downfall be brought to shame and confounded in their schemes. May those who harbor ill will towards me be turned back in their tracks and be humiliated. Let them be left desolate in their shame, those who mockingly taunt me with scorn. But let all who earnestly seek you rejoice and find joy in your presence. May those who cherish your salvation exclaim without ceasing, The Lord be glorified. Though I find myself in a state of poverty and neediness, I take solace in the knowledge that you, O Lord, have not forgotten me. You are my refuge and my deliverer. I implore you not to delay in coming to my aid, O my God. 
In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we fervently declare, O Lord, that your divine hand is upon this household. Despite the encroaching darkness and the onslaught of the adversary, you, Lord, will provide a shield of protection. You will fortify this home and safeguard its inhabitants, shielding them from harm and confusion. May your presence be felt in every corner of this dwelling, O Lord. May your light dispel all shadows of doubt and fear. Strengthen the hearts of your servants, O Lord, and let your peace reign supreme within these walls. We entrust our lives and our homes into your loving care, confident in your unfailing love and boundless mercy. In the powerful and unwavering name of Jesus Christ, I declare with absolute conviction that the divine protection of the Lord envelops and surrounds this sacred abode. Within these walls, within the embrace of this family, the sovereign presence of the Almighty reigns supreme, casting out any shadow of doubt or fear. No scheme of the enemy shall prosper against the fortress of faith that fortifies this home. Heavenly Father, I beseech you to shower your abundant blessings upon this household, to pour forth your grace and favor upon each member within. May prosperity flow like a mighty river through the corridors of this dwelling, nourishing the hearts and souls of all who dwell herein. In the resounding authority of the name of Jesus, I decree that any who dare to sow discord or malice within the vicinity of this sanctuary shall find themselves utterly confounded, their nefarious intentions thwarted by the impenetrable shield of divine protection. For this home is not merely a physical structure, but a hallowed sanctuary where your presence abides, where your light dispels all darkness and your love casts out all fear. We summon, O Lord, the indwelling of your Holy Spirit to saturate every inch of this space, to fill every nook and cranny with the soothing balm of your peace and the radiant warmth of your love. Let your Spirit hover over this home like a gentle dove, bringing comfort to the weary, strength to the faint-hearted, and unity to the divided. As we stand in agreement, united in faith and purpose, we declare that this home is consecrated unto you, O Lord, a beacon of hope amidst a world beset by turmoil and strife. May your presence continue to abide here, guiding, protecting, and blessing all who enter its threshold, now and forevermore. May the boundless joy of the Lord overflow within these walls, filling every corner and crevice with His radiant light. Let His peace, which surpasses all understanding, permeate this space, calming every troubled heart and soothing every weary soul. And may His divine prosperity manifest abundantly, blessing each inhabitant with overflowing abundance and provision. With unwavering faith and steadfast trust, we declare unto the Almighty that no evil shall gain a foothold within this sanctuary, for His mighty hand shields and protects His beloved children. Any injustice that dares to rear its head shall crumble to dust in the face of His righteousness, for He is the very essence of purity and holiness within this home. O oh God, in your infinite mercy, cleanse us from every stain of iniquity and purify us from every trace of sin. Grant us the humility to acknowledge our transgressions and the strength to turn away from them. For we recognize that our sins are ever before you, and against you alone have we acted in defiance. Let your righteous judgment be our guide, and may your grace abound in our midst. We humbly acknowledge our inherent frailty and our desperate need for your truth to penetrate the depths of our beings. You, O Lord, desire honesty and integrity in the innermost recesses of our hearts, and it is your wisdom that we earnestly seek. Wash us clean with the hyssop of your forgiveness, and we shall emerge purified, whiter than the purest snow. In this sacred moment of confession and repentance, we surrender ourselves wholly to your transformative power, trusting in your promise of redemption and restoration. May your mercy flow freely within this space, renewing and revitalizing us as we journey ever closer to you. 
May the melody of joy and the chorus of gladness resound within the depths of my being, O Lord, that even the bones which have been crushed under the weight of sin may rejoice in your boundless grace. Let your countenance shine upon me, veiling your eyes from my transgressions and erasing every trace of iniquity from the canvas of my soul. Create within me, O God, a heart pure and unblemished, washed clean by the purifying waters of your mercy, and breathe into me the breath of life anew. Renew within me a steadfast spirit, unwavering in its devotion to you, and fashion within me a righteous soul, eager to walk in the paths of your truth and righteousness. In your infinite mercy, do not cast me away from your presence, nor withdraw your Holy Spirit from me, but rather restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with a willing and obedient spirit. Grant me the grace to proclaim your ways to those who have strayed, that sinners may find their way back to you through the testimony of your redeeming love. Deliver me, O God, from the guilt of shedding innocent blood, and let my tongue sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, O Lord, that I may declare your praise with fervor and sincerity, for you take no delight in mere sacrifices or offerings, but in the brokenness of a contrite heart you find favor. In your goodness, O Lord, do good unto Zion, and in your pleasure rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you delight in the sacrifices of righteousness, in offerings presented wholeheartedly unto you, and the praises of your people shall rise like sweet incense before your throne. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we humbly seek your forgiveness for all our transgressions, knowing that his sacrifice upon the cross has secured our redemption and justification. Forgive us, O God, for our failings, our shortcomings and our hasty actions, and grant us the strength to walk in your ways all the days of our lives. O Lord, come swiftly to my aid, for I am in desperate need of your assistance. Let those who seek to harm me be confounded and put to shame, their schemes turned back upon them in disgrace. May those who delight in my downfall find themselves humiliated and disgraced, their malicious intentions thwarted by your righteous hand. Let their boasts of triumph be silenced, and let them be consumed by their own shame. But let all who seek you rejoice and exult in your salvation. Let those who love your deliverance proclaim your greatness without ceasing. Though I am poor and destitute, you, O Lord, do not forget me. You are my refuge and my rescuer. Do not delay in coming to my aid, O my God. In your mercy and grace, may you intervene on my behalf, turning the plans of my enemies against them and lifting me up in your unfailing love. Grant me strength and courage in the face of adversity, knowing that you are with me every step of the way. Let your name be exalted and glorified forevermore. Almighty God, in the blessed and holy name of Jesus Christ, we humbly come before you to declare your sovereignty over this household. Even as the forces of darkness may attempt to encroach upon us, we stand firm in the assurance of your divine protection. We proclaim with unwavering faith that your hand is upon this home, shielding it from every assault of the adversary. Lord, you are our refuge and our fortress, our ever-present help in times of trouble. We declare that your blessings overflow within these walls, saturating every corner with your favor and grace. Let prosperity abound in this home, not merely in material wealth, but in the richness of your presence and the abundance of your love. In the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke every plot of the enemy aimed at disrupting the peace and tranquility of this dwelling. Those who seek to bring harm or sow discord shall be confounded, for your presence permeates every inch of this place. We invoke the Holy Spirit to fill this environment with his comforting presence, bringing joy, peace, and prosperity to all who dwell here. We affirm, O God, that no evil shall prevail against us, for you are our righteousness and our shield. 
every injustice crumbles in the face of your righteousness, and we stand secure in your unfailing protection. May your joy overflow within these walls, lifting up every heart with gladness. May your peace reign supreme, calming every storm and bringing serenity to every soul. And may your prosperity flourish abundantly, enriching the lives of all who reside here. We commit this home into your loving care, trusting in your faithfulness to guard and guide us. Let your name be exalted in this place, now and forevermore. O Almighty God, cleanse me from the depths of my iniquity and wash away every stain of sin that clings to my soul. I am acutely aware of my transgressions, and the weight of my wrongdoing constantly weighs upon me. It is against you, and you alone, that I have rebelled, committing deeds that are evil in your sight, so that your judgment may be justified and your righteousness upheld. From the moment of my conception, I have been steeped in sin, born into a fallen world tainted by iniquity. Yet, you, O Lord, desire truth and integrity in the innermost recesses of my being. You seek to impart wisdom and understanding to the depths of my soul. Therefore, I humbly beseech you, cleanse me with the purifying hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than the purest snow. Let me hear the songs of joy and gladness once more, that even the bones that have been broken under the weight of guilt may rejoice in your redeeming grace. Turn your face away from my sins, O God, and blot out every trace of my iniquities from your sight. Create within me a heart that is pure and undefiled, and renew within me a spirit that is unwavering in its devotion to you. Fashion within me a righteous soul, O Lord, that I may walk in your ways and be a vessel of your love and mercy to those around me. In your boundless mercy and grace, O God, hear my plea and grant me the cleansing and renewal that only you can provide. May your spirit indwell within me, guiding me along the path of righteousness and leading me ever closer to your heart. O Lord, in the depth of my remorse, I beseech you, do not cast me away from your presence, for in your absence I am adrift, lost in the vastness of my transgressions. Let not your Holy Spirit depart from me, for it is your divine presence that sustains me, guiding me through the tempests of my soul. Restore unto me the exuberant joy of your salvation, that radiant light which once illuminated my path with hope and grace. Uphold me with a willing spirit, one that eagerly embraces your commands and finds solace in your wisdom. With renewed vigor, I shall tread the paths of righteousness, teaching transgressors your ways and beckoning sinners to return to your loving embrace. Deliver me, O God, from the weight of blood guiltiness that burdens my conscience. For you are the God of my salvation the beacon of redemption in the darkness of my deeds. With liberated tongues, I shall sing aloud of your righteousness, proclaiming your mercy and grace to all who would hear. Open wide my lips, O Lord, that I may declare your praise without restraint. For you, O Lord, take no pleasure in mere rituals and offerings. It is not burnt sacrifices that appease your heart. Instead, you cherish the sacrifices of a broken spirit, the contrition of a humble heart, which you, O God, do not disdain. In your boundless mercy, do good to Zion, your chosen people, in accordance with your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem, fortify your sanctuary, that your presence may dwell among us forevermore. Then shall you delight in the offerings of righteousness, in sacrifices offered wholeheartedly, then shall the altars be adorned with the bounty of grateful hearts, where even the choicest bulls are presented in homage to your name. May these words resonate with the depth of the psalmist's plea and inspire a renewed commitment to seek forgiveness and righteousness before the divine. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we humbly come before you, seeking your divine forgiveness for all our sins. We acknowledge with gratitude that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, 
willingly sacrificed himself on the cross to redeem us, to absolve us of our sins, and to justify us before your righteous judgment. We implore you, O God, to pardon our failures, our shortcomings, and our moments of hastiness. May your mercy wash over us like a cleansing tide, erasing the stains of our transgressions and renewing our spirits. Holy Spirit, we invite your presence to dwell within us, purifying our lips and our lives. Remove from us all that is displeasing in your sight and guide us towards righteousness and holiness. Grant us, O Lord, the enduring joy of salvation in our hearts, a joy that transcends earthly circumstances and anchors us securely in your grace. Help us to cherish the precious gift of Jesus in our lives, and may our names be forever inscribed in the book of life as a testament to your unfailing love and mercy. We declare our love for you, O God, and we long to bask in your presence, walking faithfully in the narrow path illuminated by your divine light. Lead us onward, O God, and may our lives be a testimony to your glory and majesty, now and forevermore. In this sacred moment, we gather our hearts in prayer, reaching out to the divine, beseeching the Lord's benevolence to envelop our humble abode with the light of salvation. O Sovereign God, we implore you to instill a profound transformation in the hearts of those who have strayed from your path, those ensnared in the veils of darkness cast by the enemy's deceit. May your divine grace pierce through the shadows, illuminating their souls with the radiant truth of your love and mercy. Father, we lift our voices in fervent supplication, entreating your blessings upon them, that they may be touched by the mighty hand of your power in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Shelter us, O Lord, beneath the shelter of your omnipotent wings, at your right hand where no harm may befall us, neither from the blazing sun of adversity by day, nor the enigmatic moon of trials by night. For you, O Lord, are our eternal protector, shielding us from the snares of wickedness, preserving the sanctity of our souls. We beseech you, O Lord, to encompass every member of our household in your divine shield, safeguarding their journeys as they traverse the paths of life. Whether venturing forth into the world or returning to the haven of our home, may your vigilant gaze watch over us, guiding our steps and preserving us from all perils. Grant us, O Lord, your unwavering protection throughout our sojourns, that we may walk in the assurance of your divine providence, now and for all eternity. In your boundless mercy, O God, we place our trust, knowing that your steadfast love will accompany us through every trial and triumph. In humble recognition of your omnipotence and omnipresence, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude and reverence. We acknowledge that your divine wisdom surpasses our understanding, and your boundless love transcends our mortal comprehension. As we navigate the complexities of life, we find solace in the knowledge that you are ever vigilant, guiding us with a steady hand through the unseen pathways of existence. In the midst of uncertainty and tumult, we place our complete trust in your providence, knowing that you are the anchor of our souls and the source of our strength. You perceive the intricacies of our circumstances, the whispers of our hearts, and the silent struggles we endure. With unwavering faith, we surrender ourselves into your caring embrace, seeking refuge in your unfailing grace. Grant us, O Lord, the wisdom to discern your will amidst the clamor of the world and the courage to walk in the path of righteousness, even when the road ahead seems daunting. May your light illuminate our way, dispelling the shadows of doubt and fear that seek to obscure our vision. With you as our constant companion, we fear no darkness, for your presence is our guiding light. As we lift our voices in prayer, we offer thanks for the countless blessings you bestow upon us each day. From the first light of dawn to the quiet embrace of night, your grace sustains us, nourishing our souls and replenishing our spirits. 
In moments of joy, we rejoice in your abundant goodness, and in times of trial, we find solace in your unwavering love. Father, guard us with your divine protection, shielding us from the snares of temptation and the perils that lurk in the shadows. Be our fortress in times of adversity, our refuge in times of distress, and our stronghold in times of weakness. With you as our shield and our defender, we fear no evil, for your strength is our refuge and your mercy is our shield. In your holy name, we offer this prayer, trusting that you will hear our supplications and grant us your boundless grace. Recalling the timeless wisdom of Psalm 127, we are reminded that without your hand to guide us, our efforts are but futile whispers in the wind. As we toil in the fields of our labor, we find solace in the knowledge that you are the architect of our endeavors, laying the foundation upon which we build our lives. Like vigilant sentinels, you guard the cities of our souls, protecting us from harm and guiding us along the paths of righteousness. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we declare your sovereignty over our lives, trusting in your promise to honor the seeds of faith we sow. With hearts uplifted in prayer, we proclaim your abundant blessings upon our homes, our work, and our families. As your faithful servants, we anticipate a harvest of abundance, surpassing even the bountiful blessings bestowed upon your servant Isaac. As children of the Most High, we walk in the light of your love, destined to prosper and flourish in the land you have entrusted to our care. With unwavering faith, we cast aside fear, knowing that your watchful gaze never wavers, even as we rest in the quiet embrace of sleep. For you, O oh God, are ever vigilant, keeping watch over those who fear you and delivering them from the trials and tribulations of life. Every corner of our homes, every inch of our lives, we dedicate to your service, O Lord. May your presence dwell within our midst, guiding us with your wisdom and surrounding us with your unfailing love. This prayer we lift to you, O God, with hearts overflowing with gratitude and praise. Amen and Amen. Psalm 46 stands as a testament to the enduring power and grace of our Almighty God in the quiet sanctuary of this sacred text, we find solace in the knowledge that God is not merely a distant figure, but rather our steadfast refuge, our unwavering strength, and our ever-present aid in times of turmoil. As we embark on this journey through the verses of Psalm 46, let us open our hearts to the profound truths it unveils, and may our souls be enriched by the wisdom it imparts. Before we delve into the depths of this psalm, I extend a warm invitation to all to subscribe to this channel and partake in our daily prayers. If you are already subscribed, I encourage you to share this divine offering with others so that they too may find comfort and inspiration in the timeless words of Scripture. May the blessings of God pour forth upon your families and upon you abundantly. Psalm 46 verse 1 serves as a beacon of hope amidst the tempests of life, declaring with unwavering certainty that God is indeed our refugee and strength, a constant and ever-present source of assistance in times of trouble. In the midst of anguish and affliction, we find solace in the assurance that we are not alone, for God stands beside us as our unwavering support, our rock amidst the storm. Let us take a moment to reflect on the profound significance of these words. How often have we found ourselves besieged by the trials of life, grappling with fear and uncertainty? Yet, in the midst of our darkest hours, God remains our steadfast refuge, offering us shelter from the storms that rage around us. In His divine strength, we find the courage to persevere, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. As we meditate on the comforting truths of Psalm 46, let us lift our voices in prayer, seeking refuge in the loving embrace of our Heavenly Father. May His presence surround us like a fortress, 
shielding us from harm and guiding us through the tumultuous seas of life. It seems providential that you have stumbled upon this message. If you find yourself weighed down by sorrow or grappling with challenges, take heart, for God is your refuge and strength. He stands as a mighty fortress, guarding you with his boundless love and sustaining you with his power, grace, and kindness. In moments of anguish and affliction, he extends his hand to rescue us, just as he did for the people of Israel in the wilderness, parting the vast sea before them so they could pass through unharmed. Indeed, even when faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles, we need not succumb to fear. As Psalm 46, 2 reminds us, Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. Despite the tumultuous nature of life, even in the midst of chaos and crisis, we can find refuge and strength in God. He remains steadfast, unwavering in His protection and guidance, even when the world around us seems to be in turmoil. Therefore, let us anchor our faith in Christ, knowing that His presence is our refuge amidst life's storms. Regardless of the challenges we may face, we can take comfort in the knowledge that we are guarded and protected by the Almighty. So, in moments of affliction, in times of scorn, and amidst life's most difficult trials, remember that God is with you, offering solace and strength to sustain you. Trust in His unfailing love, and fear not, for He is our refuge and strength, now and forevermore. In verse 2 of Psalm 46, the psalmist speaks with unwavering confidence and assurance, declaring, Therefore, we will not fear. This statement is a powerful proclamation of faith, grounded in the understanding that God is our refuge and strength. It is a reminder that in the face of fear and uncertainty, we need not tremble, for we are securely held in the embrace of the Almighty. The psalmist's words echo with resounding truth. We need not succumb to fear because our God is mighty and ever-present. He is our guardian, our defender, and our shield in times of trouble. Whenever fear attempts to invade the chambers of our hearts, we can boldly declare, God is my refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. There is no need to fear the adversities, problems, conflicts, or even the giants that loom before us. Our God who called us is faithful, and He promises to ensure our victory and bless our homes and families. He is our refuge and strength, a constant source of comfort and reassurance in moments of anguish. The psalmist's confidence is unshakable, even in the face of the most catastrophic events imaginable. Even if the earth were to quake beneath our feet, or mountains were to be swallowed by the sea, we need not fear. Our trust is firmly anchored in the unwavering faithfulness of our God, who remains our refuge and strength through every trial and tribulation. Therefore, let us take heart and stand firm in the knowledge that God is with us. With Him as our refuge and strength, we can face any challenge with courage and confidence, knowing that we are held secure in His unfailing love and protection. In verse 3 of Psalm 46, the psalmist extends his declaration of faith even further. He illustrates a scenario where the waters roar and foam and the mountains tremble with tumult. This imagery vividly portrays a world in chaos, filled with conflicts and difficulties. Despite this tumultuous backdrop, the psalmist stands firm in his resolve. He will not fear. The psalmist's unwavering trust in God remains unshaken, even in the face of the most daunting challenges. Even if the very foundations of the earth were to give way, even if the waters rage and the mountains crumble into the sea, he will continue to place his trust in God. For he knows that his Redeemer lives, and in the end, God's sovereignty will prevail. This profound lesson in trust is echoed in the New Testament through the story of Jesus' disciples caught in a storm while on a boat with him. Despite the raging tempest, 
Jesus was found sleeping peacefully in the boat while his disciples were gripped with fear. Yet, Jesus used this moment to teach them a powerful lesson. They need not fear, for the one in the boat with them was greater than the storms raging around them. In both instances, whether in the ancient words of the psalmist or in the life of Jesus' disciples, we are reminded of the importance of placing our trust in God, even amidst the most tumultuous circumstances. Just as the psalmist remained steadfast in his faith, and the disciples learned to trust in Jesus' power over the storm, so too are we called to surrender our fears and anxieties to the Almighty. For in Him, we find refuge and strength, even in the midst of life's fiercest storms. In verse 4 of Psalm 46, the psalmist unveils another layer of profound truth. He speaks of a river whose streams bring joy to the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. This imagery evokes a sense of tranquility and abundance, portraying a source of life-giving water that nourishes and sustains the spiritual community. The river mentioned here symbolizes the river of living water, a concept deeply rooted in biblical imagery and teachings. This river represents the abundant grace and life-giving presence of God, which brings joy and refreshment to his people. It is the same river that Jesus alluded to when speaking with the Samaritan woman at the well in the Gospel of John, offering her living water that would quench her spiritual thirst forever. Moreover, this river finds its ultimate fulfillment in the heavenly city described in the book of Revelation, where it flows from the throne of God, bringing life and healing to all who dwell there. It is a symbol of divine abundance and eternal blessings, flowing ceaselessly from the source of all life. In recognizing the significance of this river, we are reminded of the spiritual nourishment and joy that God provides to His people. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, we can find solace and comfort in the ever-flowing streams of His grace and love. Just as the psalmist found assurance in the presence of this river, so too can we draw strength and joy from the abundant blessings that God bestows upon us. Therefore, let us take heart and rejoice in the knowledge that we are sustained by the river of living water flowing from the throne of God Himself. In its embrace, we find true fulfillment and everlasting joy, even in the midst of life's storms and trials. In verse 4 of Psalm 46, the psalmist draws our attention to a profound symbol, the river that brings life and joy to the city of God. This river, as described in the book of Ezekiel and echoed throughout biblical imagery, represents the Holy Spirit of God. Just as water signifies purity and cleansing, the river of the Holy Spirit purifies and transforms, healing diseases and washing away sin. Its life-giving waters bring joy and comfort to the hearts of believers. As the Holy Spirit enters our lives and homes, it brings with it the transformative power of God's presence. It purifies our souls, heals our wounds, and brings joy to our hearts. The river of God is not merely a physical stream, but a spiritual force that brings renewal and restoration to all who receive it. Verse 5 of Psalm 46 further emphasizes the indwelling presence of God. It proclaims, God is in her midst, highlighting the omnipresence of the Almighty. Unlike a mere bystander, God is not merely positioned on the outskirts. He is at the very heart of His people. His presence provides stability and strength, ensuring that His chosen ones shall not be moved. With God in our midst, we can face each day with confidence, knowing that He is our ever-present help in times of need. Therefore, let us welcome the Holy Spirit into our lives with open hearts, allowing its transforming and joy-bringing power to flow freely within us. As God dwells in our midst, we find security, stability, and unwavering support in His boundless love and grace. To say that God is in the midst is to affirm His central importance and presence in our lives. Just as placing something in the center of a room draws attention and stands out, 
so too does God occupy the central place in our hearts and minds. He is the focal point, the cornerstone upon which our lives are built. When the psalmist declares that God is in her midst in verse 5 of Psalm 46, he is emphasizing that God is the most vital and significant aspect of our existence. He is not relegated to the periphery, but occupies the very center of our being. With Him as our center, we stand firm, unshaken by the storms of life, knowing that He is our ever-present help and source of strength. Allow God to take His rightful place at the center of your life, and you will find that your faith remains unshakable, your hope unwavering. As the dawn breaks, the Lord will come to your aid. In verse 6, the psalmist proclaims, The nations rage, the kingdoms totter, he utters his voice, the earth melts. This vivid imagery portrays the incredible power and authority of God's voice. When the psalmist speaks of the Lord uttering his voice, he underscores the transformative impact of God's spoken word. Indeed, the voice of the Lord is so potent that it has the power to melt the very earth. It penetrates the hardest of hearts, breaking through barriers and shattering strongholds. No force, whether natural or supernatural, can withstand the commanding authority of God's voice. When God speaks, curses are broken, evil is vanquished, and all that opposes His will is undone. His voice carries the weight of divine authority, bringing about transformation and restoration wherever it is heard. Therefore, let us heed the voice of the Lord, for it is a voice of power and victory. In times of turmoil and chaos, when the nations rage and kingdoms totter, we can take comfort in the assurance that God's voice will prevail. With unwavering faith, let us listen for His voice, knowing that it has the power to melt away every obstacle and bring about His purposes on earth. The psalmist endeavors to exalt and magnify the incomparable power of the Lord's voice. This divine voice speaks directly to each one of us, reassuring us with the words, Do not fear, for I am with you. I am your refuge and your strength, a present help in times of trouble. In verse 7, the psalmist makes a resounding declaration. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This statement carries immense significance, emphasizing the omnipotent presence of the Almighty in our lives. The psalmist underscores that it is not merely human authorities or earthly powers that stand by our side, but rather the Lord of hosts himself. This title, the Lord of hosts, encompasses the entirety of God's sovereign authority over all creation. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the seas, and the stars. His presence with us surpasses any other allegiance or protection we may seek. In recognizing the divine presence of the Lord of hosts in our lives, we find assurance and confidence. He is greater than the sun, the moon, and the stars combined. His power transcends all earthly limitations, offering us unwavering support and refuge in times of need. Therefore, let us take comfort in the knowledge that the Lord of hosts is with us. With Him as our refuge and strength, we need not fear any challenge or adversity. His omnipotent presence surrounds us, guiding us with His wisdom and protecting us with His unfailing love. The one who stands with you surpasses the vastness of the seas, exceeds the might of giants, and transcends the authority of governors. He is greater than all, for He is the Creator of the heavens and the earth, the One who performed mighty deeds throughout history. He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites, brought down the walls of Jericho, and felled giants to the ground. He is the healer of the sick, the conqueror of death, who rose again on the third day. It is this mighty presence that accompanies you. Therefore, take courage, rejoice, and find rest in your heart. For the one who stands with you is stronger than evil, stronger than darkness, and stronger than all wicked deeds. He is the Lord God Almighty. So do not succumb to fear, 
Proclaim boldly the truth declared in Psalm 46, verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. Speak it aloud. The Lord of hosts is with me, is with us, and I will not fear. The God of Jacob is our refuge. With this assurance, let your heart be steadfast, knowing that the Almighty is by your side, guiding, protecting, and strengthening you through every trial and tribulation. In verse 8 of Psalm 46, the psalmist extends a compelling invitation. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he has brought on the earth. This invitation beckons us to witness firsthand the mighty deeds and wonders that God has wrought throughout history. When the psalmist speaks of the desolations brought upon the earth by God, he is referring to the awe-inspiring acts of divine power and intervention. These are not mere acts of destruction, but rather demonstrations of God's sovereignty and faithfulness. For instance, consider the remarkable events in Egypt, where God unleashed ten plagues to liberate his people from slavery. Witnessing the parting of the Red Sea, as God made a way for the Israelites to escape their pursuers and close the waters to protect them, is another testament to his power and faithfulness. Therefore, the psalmist urges us to come and see for ourselves the faithfulness of God manifested in our lives, in our homes, and in our circumstances. It is an invitation to witness the transformative power of God's presence and His unwavering commitment to His people. So, let us heed the call to behold the works of the Lord, to witness His faithfulness and power firsthand. In doing so, May our faith be strengthened, our hearts filled with gratitude, and our lives marked by a deeper trust in the Almighty. Verse 9 of Psalm 46 brings further depth to the portrayal of God's power and sovereignty. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. This verse unveils a profound truth about the nature of God's authority and intervention in the affairs of humanity. The psalmist juxtaposes the concept of God as the Lord of hosts, which implies authority over armies and hosts of angels, with his role as the peacemaker. Despite being the supreme commander of heavenly hosts, God's ultimate battle is not one of aggression or conquest, but one of peace. He wages war against discord, strife, and conflict, seeking to bring about reconciliation and harmony. When the psalmist speaks of God making war cease, he is describing the divine intervention that brings an end to conflicts and turmoil. This encompasses not only large-scale wars between nations, but also the internal battles that individuals and communities face. God promises to bring peace and reconciliation to every corner of the earth, from the grandest geopolitical arenas to the most intimate spaces of our lives. Therefore, the image presented in verse 9 is one of God as the ultimate peacemaker, wielding his power to dismantle the instruments of war and establish tranquility. His desire is to bring an end to strife and division, replacing them with unity and wholeness. This portrayal highlights the compassionate and merciful nature of God, who seeks the well-being and flourishing of all His creation. In essence, God's battle is to bring about peace, not through force or coercion, but through love, grace, and divine intervention. He is the ultimate source of peace, and His desire is for all humanity to experience the harmony and reconciliation that come from dwelling in His presence. In verse 9 of Psalm 46, the psalmist describes God's decisive action. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow, cuts the spear in two, and burns the chariots with fire. This imagery portrays God's intervention to bring an end to conflict and strife throughout the earth. His power is such that weapons of war are rendered ineffective, symbolizing his ability to establish lasting peace. Then, in verse 10, the psalmist implores us to be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 
This verse carries a profound message of tranquility and trust in the sovereignty of God. It urges us to quiet our anxious hearts, to cease striving and worrying, and instead to find rest and assurance in the knowledge of God's supremacy. When God commands us to be still, He is inviting us to surrender our fears, doubts, and anxieties to Him. He reassures us that He is in control, that He will be exalted not only among the nations but in all the earth. This declaration underscores His authority and power over every circumstance and situation. Therefore, let us heed the psalmist's call to be still and know that God is God. Let us find peace in His presence, trusting that He is working for our good and His glory. In the midst of life's challenges, may we rest in the assurance that God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in trouble. And as we surrender to His will and His timing, may His name be exalted throughout the earth and among all nations. In verse 11, the psalmist concludes the psalm with the same declaration as in verse 7, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This repetition might seem curious at first glance, but it carries significant meaning and emphasis. The repetition serves to underscore and reinforce the central message of the psalm, the unwavering presence and protection of God. By repeating this declaration, the psalmist emphasizes its importance and highlights the profound truth it conveys. Moreover, the repetition serves as a form of poetic parallelism, a common literary device in Hebrew poetry. This repetition enhances the lyrical quality of the psalm and helps to drive home its message with added impact and resonance. Furthermore, by repeating this declaration at the beginning and end of the psalm, the psalmist frames the entire passage with the assurance of God's presence and refuge. It serves as a powerful reminder to the reader or listener of the foundational truth that anchors the psalm. God is with us, and He is our ultimate source of strength and security. In essence, the repetition in verses 7 and 11 serves to reinforce the central theme of the psalm and to provide a sense of closure by returning to its foundational declaration. It serves as a poignant reminder of God's constant presence and protection, offering comfort and assurance to those who read or meditate upon the psalm. The repetition of the same phrase twice in verses 7 and 11 serves as a powerful reminder of the omnipotent nature of God. Often, in times of affliction and distress, we may be prone to forget the strength and power of the God who is with us. Just as the disciples in the boat during the storm momentarily lost sight of Jesus' authority over the elements, we too can falter in our faith when faced with challenges. By repeating the declaration that the Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge, the psalmist seeks to reinforce in our minds the undeniable truth that the God who stands with us is indeed almighty. It is a firm reassurance that the God who accompanies us is not weak, dependent, or limited in any way. Rather, He is the all-powerful creator of the universe who needs no assistance or support. Therefore, let us not underestimate the strength and might of the God who is with us. He is not a God who walks with a crutch or relies on external aid. He is the omnipotent, sovereign Lord who reigns supreme over all creation. In times of trouble, let us take solace in the unwavering presence of this almighty God, knowing that He is our refuge and strength, capable of guiding us through every trial and tribulation. Therefore, the psalmist repeats the declaration in both verse 7 and verse 11 to firmly imprint upon our hearts that the Lord of hosts is with us. This repetition serves as a divine reminder of God's constant presence and His unwavering commitment to His people. God repeats what we need to hear precisely when we need to hear it, ensuring that we grasp the magnitude of His promise. In Psalm 46, the repetition of this declaration underscores its significance and urgency in our lives. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. This assurance is not to be taken lightly. It is a proclamation of victory, healing, transformation, and strength. Therefore, let us not succumb to fear or dismay, for the Almighty God is actively involved in our lives, guiding, protecting, and empowering us. So, let us claim this word. Let us claim the promises that God has bestowed upon us through Psalm 46. With faith and gratitude, let us now lift our voices in prayer, seeking God's divine providence, healing, salvation, and blessings to manifest in our lives. Close your eyes, bow your heads, and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather in this sacred moment, our hearts are lifted in praise and reverence towards you. We have delved into the depths of Psalm 46, allowing its verses to resonate within us, affirming our faith in your omnipotence and unwavering presence in our lives. Lord, we acknowledge that you are the God of the impossible, capable of bringing about miraculous transformations in our circumstances. You, O oh God, are our fortress and strength, a steadfast refuge in times of trouble. Amidst the chaos and uncertainties of life, we take solace in knowing that you are ever-present, ready to lend us your unfailing support. Even when the very foundations of our existence seem to tremble, we stand firm in the assurance of your sovereignty. Our faith is firmly anchored in the rock of ages, none other than our Savior Jesus Christ. As we lift up the lives of your servants who are present with us in spirit, we beseech you, O Lord, to pour out your abundant blessings upon them. Let your divine favor rest upon them like a gentle breeze, refreshing and revitalizing their weary souls. Strengthen them, Lord, in their moments of weakness, and grant them the courage to face each new day with unwavering faith and determination. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we invoke your divine intervention, O God. Send forth your angels to minister unto your beloved children, unraveling every snare and breaking every chain that seeks to hinder their progress. May obstacles be removed and pathways cleared for the manifestation of your glorious victory in their lives. Grant them, O Lord, the wisdom to discern your will and the grace to walk in obedience to your commands. Fill their hearts with your peace that surpasses all understanding, and let the light of your love shine brightly amidst the darkness that surrounds them. We declare victory in the name of Jesus, believing that nothing is impossible for you, our God. As we await the fulfillment of your promises, we stand firm in faith, knowing that you are faithful to bring to completion the good work you have begun in us. Almighty God, as we come before you in humility and faith, we acknowledge you as the Lord of hosts, the sovereign ruler over all creation. In the midst of the battles that rage around us, we find solace in your unwavering presence and mighty power. We call upon you, O Lord, to intervene on our behalf, to fight for us and bring an end to the conflicts that plague our world. Lord, we beseech you to quell the wars that ravage nations and the strife that tears apart families and communities. Bring an end to the discord in households, the tensions between couples, the conflicts in workplaces, churches, and families. Let your peace reign supreme, Lord, as you dismantle every force of evil, every negative influence, and every attack of the enemy by the cleansing power of Jesus' blood. In your mercy, O God, we plead for the protection of our families and homes. Envelop us in the shield of your divine protection, guarding us against harm and preserving us in your steadfast love. Pour out your blessings upon each person present here, showering them with your grace, virtue, and victory. May your abundant blessings overflow into every aspect of our lives, bringing healing, liberation, and transformation. We claim the promises of Psalm 46 over our lives, families, finances, and emotions, trusting in your faithfulness to fulfill them. Bring forth healing where there is brokenness, deliverance where there is bondage, and restoration where there is devastation. 
Open doors of opportunity and grant us victory in every endeavor, for you are our refuge and strength, ever present in our times of need. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare our victory and take hold of the blessings, promises, and gifts that you have ordained for us. With hearts full of gratitude, we lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving, knowing that you are faithful to hear and answer our prayers. Amen and Amen. May the divine blessings of Psalm 46 descend upon you abundantly. Amen.